Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm Dwayne. I'm Tom. And this is... Our Recovery Life. Uh, tonight's topic. Tonight's topic is reservations. Reservations? What are those? Uh, we're not talking about uh, dinner for two at the Outback, Dwayne. <laughs> Uh, what are, what are reservations? Uh, reservations are when you're not going to use until or if this happens. Um, some of the reservations that I had, like when I first got into recovery, uh, I wasn't going to drink until I had the drugs under control. Mm. Um, because that's possible. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> and I realized that I was a raging alcoholic before the mm. drugs. Well, during the drugs. The whole time, pretty much. Okay. And so if I was going to start drinking, I was going to start using, you know, I, I came to the realization that that wasn't going to work for me. Mm. Um, the other reservation I had was, you know, once my kids turn 18 and then I don't have any mm. responsibilities, you know, we maybe go back. I, yeah, go back. So I'll just make it till I'm 18 uh, or till they're 18. And it's, it's crazy thinking, but I mean, that's how reservations work. Mm. Um, you know, like I thought that they're the only ones that would be affected if they were under 18. Mm. Well, once they turned 18, they wouldn't matter if their dad was a junkie. Correct. You know, or anybody else in your yeah. life. So then the other one was uh, if my whole family got wiped out. Mm. So that would be, you know, pretty traumatic. Mm. And I didn't know how I would deal with that. So... You know, like those, it would leave the back door open if some if that happened then yeah like okay you know just that little reservation that if that did happen then I wouldn't have to deal with it because you know what would be the difference if my whole family mm. was gone yeah and uh, I could just go ahead and and uh, you know maybe get off the planet join them yeah so reservations I think, for you I think for me reservations is. Um, the way I kind of look at it, it is giving my addict a little piece of ground. And, um, you know, like if something happened to one of my kids, that's just a little place. I give them just a little bit of ground and it just sits. Um, like, like my first recovery, uh, my first shot at recovery, um, you know, I, I had some decent time and was doing all right. But... Um, went to the doctor once, and one of my reservations was, is, you know, everything that happened to me health-wise, like, you know, and, and so life is good. Go to the doctor, have some trouble with, you know, some nerves dying, and, you know, numbness in my feet, and I go there, and I just, I, I heard the magic words, you know, like, it's not looking good, like, you're, you're, this is, this is not a good thing, and, um, you know, I, I thought it was something that, that, that was okay, and, and the weird thing is, whenever I heard those words, like this elation and this happiness happened where I could stop being the adult and kind of like it was a cue, you know, lights, spot shadow, right. uh, addict. And he's like, Hey, this is, this is my, you know, this is where I come up. And I just gave him the re reins and here you go. This is your, uh, and you get to take a break. Yeah. Now. I get to take a break now. And it was kind of like queuing up, um, you know, in the movies where psh, here you go. This is your line now. And that's action. Action. That's yeah. exactly what happened. And it was, it was so strange how elated I was where I could take a break and uh, just chill out for a little while and let uh, let him have the reins for a little while. And uh, and that didn't work out well, you know. <laughs> it was nothing but destruction. But the crazy thing about how reservations is they just kind of sit there and they just take up just a little bit of space in your brain. But out of nowhere, action, you know, and then off to the races. And, you know, that, that ended in nothing but destruction and people hurt and everyone around me um just just chaos and right. so that one reservation was just uh like a wildfire and it just spread so fast um so uh how how in recovery do, do you see reservations uh, pop up with other people and whatnot um well i just see a lot of uh people like um a big one you know like i see a lot of sponsees and i see a lot of people too they're like well, I'm going to stay clean, and then as soon as they're off paper, mm. they're like, oh, well, <laughs> now I don't have to go in and have UAs, and I don't have to do this, and maybe I can have a beer, and then you never see them again. I don't have this looking over my shoulder. Right. Yeah. You know. And, that was and a big one for me. 
the reservation of uh, yeah. getting off parole. Getting off parole, and once I, I get off parole, like now I can just relax and kind of go to, um, you know, even this time around, I was like kind of had it in early, early, early on. Um, before I really went through the steps and kind of really got some education is, um, yeah, I, I could go back to just being normal and, you know, on Friday, get off work and go have one just like everyone else. Cause that's really was, was my goal at that time just to be normal like everyone else. Right. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, absolutely. And, that's, and, I wanted to get back to that too. Like yeah. I just want to be, you know, you get to a point, uh, before you realize that addiction is a lifelong <laughs> Uh, disease yeah. that, oh my gosh! Like, Forever? once we're done with this, like, it, it, when do, when are we done? When do I complete the uh, course and then I graduate and then I'm normal again? I got my card signed. Like yeah. it's signed front and back. Like I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And for me, it was like I want to do that on Friday and then you know maybe Saturday go to the neighbor's garage and kind of kick it and then the Vikings game of course have a few there right. and you know at the wedding I want to be able to have a couple there and have a good time you know because that's just what we do and um. You know, just be normal, just a, a, a normal successful user, just Friday to Sunday, and I won't, I won't do anything more, you know. But uh, I think we know what reality is. Like, that, that doesn't happen. Right. You know. Well, if you're in, you know, recovery long enough and you start to learn by example, yes. um, good and bad, mm -hmm. you know, see people that have succeeded, see how people have failed and have to start over, or if they don't make it back, mm. uh, that, that uh, sort of thing where... I think what happened for me is I never caught up to my reservation. Ex explain that. Okay, so I wasn't going to drink until I stopped doing drugs. Okay. But I figured out that I couldn't drink before okay. I stopped uh, doing I see, drugs. I see what you're saying, yeah. And um, so then when it came to, like, I have a two-year-old daughter. Mm -hmm. So she's far from 18. Okay. And the reservation of me... You know, once they're gone and I don't have the responsibility anymore that, you know. No more can, adulting. Yeah, no more adulting. <laughs> I did what I had to do. Now yeah. I can do whatever. You know, now that I realize that it not only hurts me, it hurts everyone around me. And it's destructive mm. to everyone. Grand, yeah. You know, grandkids, you know, if they come along. And uh, so they didn't turn 18 before I realized that was not okay. going to, you know, be a, be a problem. So... Now, with this last one, that's still, like you're saying, that just that little teeny tiny, mm. like if my whole entire family gets wiped out, uh, you know, I'm still working with that. Mm. And hopefully, you know, I, I get that taken care of upstairs before that happens, mm. if it happens, and hopefully it never happens, um, that I don't, you know, turn to that mm. for, you know, my treating my feelings and you know, deal with them and, and work the program. I, th I think for mine, as they pop up, I, I need to stay vigilant just because I remember what happens whenever one does pop up and get the reins. It just gets, it goes out of control fast. So I need to, the evidence, you know, that's why I do go to uh, meetings and uh, get to see what happens when you don't jump on your reservations and, uh, and evidence of what happens when, people go through what I consider a reservation and they bring it to the group and they cry through it and they, they, or they hurt through it and they just right. rip themselves apart through it, but they do it day by day by day and they, they stay clean and they don't use. And, you know, that type of um, evidence is like, if they can do it, I, I can do it. Exactly. You know, if they can get through something as traumatic as that, you know, and some people knew coming brand new coming in the program don't have a lot of time and they go through something like that i can do it you know right so it's you learn from new and old as far as you know the the evidence that we don't have to use no matter what right so you educate yourself by watching what others have yeah done. yeah and that uh and like it's the person in the room with one day and you know the, the old timer and you, you can learn a lot just by watching and um, you know, ask yourself sometimes: Is, is that my reservation? Do is that what would I do if I was in that position? You know, right? And, and what would you do if you were in that position? Exactly. And and I think that's how, if that light pops on and you get that, you know, oh, I'd definitely be off to the races. You know, there's a reservation, and uh, you know, some people have re reservations in their phone. You know. Oh, exactly. Yeah. You know that one can't person. Can't get rid of that number. I can't get rid of that number. Well, you know. 
that person on Facebook, you know, sometimes just doop doop, you know, get rid of it. It, uh, it just get rid of it because if if you think about that person, you're like, oh, yep, that's who I'd call. That person has to go. Right. You know, it just uh, because eventually, you know, it it's gonna something bad. That bad day is gonna happen, and then, you know, right. just get them out of your phone. You know, I think uh, I said this before in a previous episode. The, the day that I realized I'd finally came. It, came to it was living recovery um when i had the the day of all days um and started going through my phone and it's just nobody there recovery 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 like what's going on here well i'm living recovery i don't i didn't keep all the people that i kept last time in my right. phone and um yeah blessings man what a blessing so this is the part where we need you guys yeah what would you do it, and what have you done yes like Scroll up right now. Scroll down uh, about two scrolls as comment section. Um, you know we need your participation as far as um, you know reservations. What, what are some of yours, um, and how how do you deal with them? Yeah. Or how did you not deal with them and have to uh, learn from your mistakes? And remember, on that note, fight the good fight. Keep it clean. <laughs>